I gotta say, I really do love some of you folks, but um, holy shit, do I hate the fucking internet. Welcome to Nightwave Radio. Am I coming in good? I feel like I'm coming in either, I'm either too low or I'm too high. Something's going on. Welcome to the show, guys. Nightwave Radio. I am your host, Mersh. Let's get started early tonight. Oh, I'm so sick of the internet. I'm treating myself tonight. We got the patties, baby. We didn't get no fucking Tully. I went to the good liquor store tonight. Yeah. Daddy had to go to Publix, which means I drove into the neighborhood that has the good liquor store. Good to see everybody here tonight. Boy, did the internet piss me off right before the show. You know, every time, you know, it doesn't fail that anytime I tweet something, I get the the reaction of there's like 20 25 percent you guys right and i only say 25 because a lot of you guys aren't on twitter because a lot of you have permanent band or you're fucking schizos so there's like always like 25 percent well-meaning or ball-breaking replies and then it's just the other fucking 80 percent is all it's either half like well you know let's be honest it's three dudes operating 40 accounts uh from the reddit or like the pot awful people which is and again it's another four or five people with 75 accounts each and then it's like you get all these bad faith replies and i always end up getting sucked into these fucking arguments with people but um i made an off comment just a little offhand comment uh on twitter because i was pissed i was annoyed at Publix. i'm trying to get some free shit um i went food shopping tonight and I didn't eat like any like I was pissed because I went to Publix. They didn't have anything I, I, I really feel like making or doing. Right. Because that's the big thing is like people are like, well, why don't you make food at home? I do make food at home. But there's a difference between making food at home and cooking. Right. And uh, uh, so I, I, I tweeted out tonight like, hey, at Publix, uh, you know, I don't know what the fuck's going on at your Lake Gibson store. But, you know, you guys got to get your shit together because every time I go there, the fucking deli is a mess. The hot case is a fucking mess. It's just, it's a, it's fucking disgraceful for a Publix. I'm not a Karen, you know what I mean? But Publix is a very expensive grocery store, all right? I could get my shit delivered from Kroger cheaper to my house, but they don't have Boar's Head and they don't have as good of a selection. Like, there's a reason Publix is allowed to charge more for shit because you're like, I'd rather go to Publix, right? Better quality, better standards, whatever. <clears throat> but lately I've been going there and they just like, I don't know if it's the, the economy is bad. I don't know if they're just fucking, you know, they're making cutbacks or what's going on. But the, the hot case and the deli case, they always a fucking mess of Publix lately. So I tweet it out and I get a million fucking people in my replies. And I'm having the same argument we already have weeks ago. So just a word of advice. Okay. If you follow this show. All right, if you follow me closely enough, if you know what my style is, you know how I am, don't bother me about cooking from home. I will punch you directly in your fucking bread basket if you say that shit to me. I am so tired of hearing people telling me that me, a guy who's single and a guy who does 20 hours of live content a week. And by the way, it's not like 20 hours like Mike David where I just show up for one day and do 20 hours, you know? It's 20 hours spread out over five days every week. I work a full-time schedule practically. And, uh, uh, you know, I'm single, I live by myself and I have a million people in my replies going, why don't you cook for yourself? It's cheaper. No, it's fucking not. It's not when you're a single male and you, again, Avon chart, shout out to Avon Chartsdale. Cause he backed me up on this, um, time and labor costs, right? It's, it's a, it's, it's, it's it's a shitty thing to say and it's a snotty it's a kind of a cocky thing to say and i hate to say it but i my time is fairly valuable and i'm not saying i don't waste plenty of my time doing dumb shit that i enjoy but that's my time what i'm saying is is that my time is is like time time i could be cutting up a few videos or doing things to make like a video that'll go up, that'll make some money. Like there's things that I do to put food on the table that eat up time. It's just, just because I'm not live doesn't mean that I'm not doing other things show related when we're not live. People just think like, oh, the show's off. They must just, 
Like we just turn off like robots. And we just wait till 10 o'clock. Hey, we're back. Um, so if it's like two people, three people, you got roommates, that's great. I will say this, word of advice, if you got a roommate situation and you live with roommates that like, and I don't mean like a bunch of fucking 21 year old like you know people doing molly every weekend like a flop house like i've lived in when you have a real roommate situation you're in your late 20s mid 20s maybe you got a couple roommates you're all young professionals you got similar schedules <coughs> then it makes sense like yeah everybody chip in if one of you likes to cook you know somebody throws in some money you know everybody chips in and then it is cheaper but like this idea that i should have to and then like like i brought up the, the value thing my time so you want me to prep food then cook food, then eat the food, then do dishes every day. I'm not doing that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Call me lazy. Call me a piece of shit. Call me a fat, lazy fuck. Whatever you want to do. I am not doing that. I am not doing that. I am not going to shop for food, prep the food, cook the food, make a side also, clean up all the day. I'm not doing all that every day. I would rather eat my gun. So it's, it's like... Um, Sinister Charlie says, I cook at home for health reasons most of the time, but I also like to cook. See, I don't like to cook. I don't enjoy it. I don't enjoy it. And, you know, look, I, I, I will say this. If you're a single person, you live alone, and you actually love to cook, do it. That's awesome. I have things I do like to do that I'm, that I'm pretty good at. Cooking's not one of them. So, I, you know what I mean? It's, it's just, and, and it's not just that, I'm not good at cooking, as Jim Edwards pointing out. If you don't enjoy cooking, there's no point. I don't enjoy it. So I'm not going to get good at something I don't enjoy. So I'm going to cook shitty food, and I'm going to clean dishes, and when you want me to make a steak, have you ever tried to clean a pan after making a steak on it? It takes like fucking 10 minutes to clean that pan. Fuck that shit. So I'm sick of hearing it, but I had to give Pessy some credit because I posted about it, and I everybody, fuck you. And then, of course, there was one of the fucking Redditors that was posing as a fan of mine. Um, but within one snarky tweet, they had every fucking Reddit or talking point locked and loaded. And I'm like, you guys are again, man, you guys are so bad at pretending like, like the, the, the most, the number one most attempted troll when it comes to fucking with me is it's always a guy on Twitter. Who's like, got no tweet history, it's shady little new account. And then they'll always like they just, they'll, they'll pretend to like me for like three days. They can never make it past three days. Like, they'll have, like, three days worth of, like, yeah, Mersh, funny tweet, ha, ha, ha. But within three days, they're already trying to pick a fight. And then as soon as I say something, they unload all of this Reddit shit. And you're like, all right, there it is then. So, um, so such low IQ attempts at trying to, like, infiltrate. Like, look, you guys, I will tell this right now, all right? If you're one of those people that hates me that stalks this show... None of you have what it takes to do a long con and like long term infiltrate. None of you have it. You have no impulse control. If you had if you had any of the tools that it required for you to infiltrate and then try to sow discord in this group, you wouldn't be doing it. You'd be applying those skills elsewhere. You'd go, wow, these are some skills. Manipulation, Machiavellianism. You'd be out in the world using that to make money for yourself. So I had to give Pessy credit because uh, I even had people, this, this was, I got to read a few of these tweets. I'm not going to read all of them, but some of them were kind of funny. And look, some of you were well-meaning. I'm sorry if I bit your head off, but some of you guys just don't listen to anything I say. And then you recommend something I just said I'm not going to do. Um, let's see. Oh, here we go. Um, you know, there's two tweets I want to point out. And by the way, one of the tweets I want to point out, because I did say this, somebody like replied to this tweet and then deleted the reply. Um, and I didn't, I was going to reply to it, but they had deleted their tweet. Because <coughs> I did say at some point, because they were like, oh, you know, you know, you know, uh, what did this guy say? This is the Redditor guy. He goes, uh, I got, uh, whatever, uh, you got me there. You went at the poker game of hoarding and filming straight cats at your duplex. That's like nine references from the Reddit shoehorned into one sentence. So I retweeted because the guy's talking about how I'm a loser. I'm broke. I begged for money, which when have I ever begged for money? When have I ever begged for money on this show or outside of the show? I just do my show, man. People like it. Some people give me money. What do you want? You want me to fucking throw them in jail? Um, 
So my one of my replies, and, and I think one of you, because it was definitely one of the fans that actually said something about it. I said, I make pretty insane money doing two separate comedy talk shows because he's trying to say I just use cats to make money, and that's how I make my money is grifting off cats. Uh, I said, one of which is very successful. The other one's pretty profitable, too. Nightwave doesn't do too bad, right? Uh, the, cat I, th the cat thing I do because it feels nice and it's wholesome. You should really calm down. You're carrying too much anger. Take a break. Now, when I said that, one, I don't know which one of you guys it was, but it was definitely one of the actual legit fans that like replied and went, define insane money. And I realized that that tweet came off kind of asshole-ish. Um, when I say that I make insane money doing a comedy show. I don't make, well, I make more money than I can count. But when I say that, it's not me bragging about how much money I make. It's me pointing out that I make a very unfair amount of money for what I do. And I have, um, I have awareness of that. You know what I mean? So just to whoever replied and then deleted their tweet, because I guess they replied and then they saw I was in a mood and I guess they didn't want me yelling at them. I was going to reply to you and I decided not to because you deleted your tweet. But I wanted to reply nicely and explain to you that that's what I meant. Not like, oh, I make insane money. I'm Andrew Tate. I just mean for what I do for a living. I, you know, come on, man. For as much as I get shit, people go, Mersh doesn't have any respect for, you know, the working class and this and that. Nobody has more respect for the working class than me. Nobody treats the working class better than me. Nobody's more polite and tips more than me. Um, nobody has, I, I've never in my life, uh, uh, other than trying to fuck with, like, like I'll, I'll, I'll say this, of course. If you're a plumber and you come at me and you're vicious to me, of course, I'm going to come at you with like, fuck you. You scrape shit out of your fingernails, wagey, go fuck it. You know, and of course, because you're heated and you're getting it. It's the same way where when you use the N word, I don't hate all black people, but, you know, a couple, I got robbed by two black guys when I was 17 at gunpoint and they stole some weed from us. And let's just say I called those two men the N word very many times that night. Not, in their, not to their face. They had a gun. But when I got back to the place and I was safe. You know, and I was pacing around, calling my fucking, calling my guy for a re-up that now I had to get on a front because I fucking got robbed. You know, I was like, those two fucking, you know. Um, but it's not like I go to the fucking grocery store the next day and see a black guy and go, oh, are you going to stick a gun in my face too? So, but I mean, like when it comes to like working, yeah, I have nothing more respect. Like I, what, what about, what's the lesson on this show? I've been saying it for years. Go to trade school bypass college go get some shit under your fingernails you'll have, you'll be more empowered than any other of these fucking liberal arts faggots on the planet go to trade school learn a trade stay straight and outlive the trans people and you'll be fine uh but anyway i didn't mean insane right you want to like people are like oh we're just bragging about his million no just Bragging that, yeah, I do make insane money considering I'm not doing any level of backbreaking work, right? Uh, Zach Frisbee says, going to flight school in a month and a half. Fuck yeah, dude. I'll drink to that. We want a taste of the title. Oh, good for you, man. Good for you. I hope you don't get fucked over by all these new diversity quotas, but good for you, man. That's a fucking, no pun intended, but that's a lofty goal. Get it? Lofty, high up. Uh, Ao, uh, figure it out, dude. Um, this was what I wanted to point out. This was the tweet I wanted to point out, though. Uh, but first, salute to Zach. That's a that, again. That's a very cool uh, fucking thing to do. I would never do that, but good for you. You know, I um. I'm one of the best drivers anyone can ever ask for. Royce has driven, like, with me driving the car. Um, a lot of people have driven with me. I am a good driver. I got away with drinking and driving for 12, 13 years of my life. Even more if I count high school because I drove drunk in high school. So, I don't know, 15 years. Drove drunk for 15 years before they caught me. I'm a good driver. Um, but I don't trust myself behind an airplane. And I know airplanes are, you know, there's, you know, it downplays the whole fucking pilot thing of, you know, you know well, the machine basically flies itself nowadays. Yeah, but I wouldn't trust myself in that moment when it doesn't. 
You know, that's when a pilot really becomes valuable is like the movie Flight is when the shit, compl- the hydraulics totally kick out and your fucking muscle memory kicks in. I'd be fucked. I'd be panicking. I'd be like a woman pilot. If I'm in a car and it's hydroplaning and I'm drunk, for some reason I'm close to the ground. I'm like, relax. We're fine. We're fine. I'll correct the car. Ease up on the gas, but don't hit the brakes. We got there. Relax. We got this. But I in the sky, dude, I'm already panicking when I'm a passenger, dude. And if it's in my hands and I feel a goo 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 I'll be like, ah, <laughs> and start freaking out. We're all going to die. I'd be like that fucking hot blonde chick on that plane. That's a good segue. We're going to get to her in just a moment. But I wanted to show this real quick. Uh, just this tweet. Uh, I said, because somebody was telling me uh, this was uh, N- Nuck Levy. I don't know who this is. I take some instant rice, ground beef, and some vegetables, mix them together after cooking, and flavor it with whatever sauce I feel like eating. This sounds fucking terrible, by the way. This is poverty food. This is James Robert Clark food. Um, it comes out to about $2 per meal, and it takes 15 minutes to make and clean up. You're just dumb and lazy like all fatties. See this guy coming after me. Um, I said, look, I feel like this conversation spun wildly out of control. This wasn't a save money debate. I complained about food that I bought. Someone told me to start cooking at home. And this was the equivalent to describe how this knuckle guy fucking cooks. That sounds terrible. I just put rice and veggies and shitty generic frozen food and I mix it and I just put a sauce in it. And then I eat the shitty stuff that nobody would eat. It sounds disgusting. I'd rather go to Longhorn. <laughs> ah, fucking a nice baked potato, Caesar salad. They give you free bread. Free bread. I don't have to cook it or pay for it. You believe that shit? They just give you, bro, you sit down. I dare you. Go ahead. This is the Longhorn challenge. Mer- take this to TikTok. It's the Mersh Longhorn challenge. Go into a Longhorn, sit down, ask for a menu, order a drink, and wait. They're just going to fucking bring you bread. It's insane. (sighs) Fucking asshole. So this guy described his rice, veggie, beef, ground beef, mixed up monstrosity with Frank's hot sauce on it. Um, And then I wrote. You know, this is my reply. I said, you know, I said, you know, I complained about food. Someone told me to start cooking at home. I'm not going to survive on the in real life equivalent of food cubes and meat sticks from Kenshi. Now, look, I know I've been playing too much Kenshi lately, but when I get addicted to a video game, I, I, uh, I literally get into it so hard on purpose that I'll get on addicted because I'm so sick of it. And I'm very close to being sick of Kenshi. So what I'm saying is, when does Kenshi 2 come out? Because I'm waiting for the new, but no, um, 